Welcome back to the finale of the uh, Gibson Tractor uh, brake job slash brake band uh, manufacturer. Um, today we're going to put this uh, tractor back together. A couple of preliminary things I'm going to do. First of all, in a previous video I mentioned where um, I had sprayed some liquid wrench, you know, through the flange of this seal and bearing because the bearing was really crunchy well the old grease had hardened up and the liquid wrench softened it up and Larry opted not to replace bearings because this thing is going to get such infrequent use that it didn't warrant the expense of replacing bearings but what I'm going to do using an old mechanics trick I'm going to uh, get some grease in that bearing and how I did it You can look closely. You see that little punch right there? I took a finished carpenter's nail set and um, punched that little hole in there. I have got a needle attachment for my grease gun and I am going to squirt grease into that little hole and rotate it around several times and introduce more grease etc etc until I'm satisfied it's well lubricated. Now before you say anything about well the slug of metal got into the bearing well no it didn't. I lightly punched it where the slug was still visible. And I rotated this axle just enough that it actually kind of pushed the slug back out through the hole enough where I could get my magnet on it. And uh, there you go. So no worries. Metal slug didn't get into the bearing. So let's grease this bearing up. You can see just a little bit of grease starting to squish out there. Rotate my axle. And I'll just keep introducing. More grease until so I'm satisfied that that bearing has uh, got enough lube, you know? Okay, I'm happy with that. That bearing is happy. It's got all kinds of fresh grease in there. So now what I will do, I'll take a rag and wipe all that grease off. Clean it with some of this. So I got a nice clean surface and then I'm going to seal that little hole with uh, this stuff. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these guys. This is just the uh, stuff I like to use that I've had good success with. All right, onward and upward. The gasket that's on here is a specific thickness. That's uh, part of the preload on the bearing and gear mesh and all of that. I've got an old uh, cutoff bolt right here. I'm just using it as a stud to help guide things on. I'm going to put the inner flange on first and then uh, we'll put the axle housing on. I've got that. See if I can rustle the, this beast on here now. Oh, 
I've got to rotate that a little bit, but I've got it started. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> so I took the inner flange off, put it on the housing, and then took my little stud, just to keep, and uh, ran that through a bolt hole just to keep them both together. I've got to slide this in and then rotate it because um, this uh, there's a flange on the housing that attaches to the side rail here, frame rail, and it's all fun and games. Let's see if I can do this without fouling anything up. Looky there. That's got it. Let's bolt it up. All right. That's a little long. I'm going to cut those off a little bit. Just that up a little bit now. Check that pedal. Just a little more. Getting close, getting close. We got brakes. Can't forget the snap ring. And that's got it. I'm going to get the wire wheel out and I'm going to go over the inside of these uh, this rear axle hub and I've also got to do the bolts for that because they're pretty crusty, as you can see. And I'm also just going to go ahead and go uh, over the axle where the uh, where it clamps onto the axle because that's looking pretty rusty too. And uh, we'll get that on, and we'll get the wheel back on this thing.
Time to put the wheel weight on. Get the old Mac and lift this. It's heavy. There we go. Looking good. Well, that's going to wrap it up. We got brakes. So I'm going to, uh, I still have to put the draw bar on this tractor. I'm not going to film that. That's just sliding it under. Two pins, two bolts, and we're done. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do that in the morning. Load this and the parts Gibson onto my trailer. And uh, haul it back to Larry's house. And then I'm bringing the contraption in because it's about time I started that project. Anyway, um, this was uh, an interesting series. Uh, you uh, followed me along as I... Uh, uh, got this pulled apart and, you know, went through the, the whole brake band mess and um, got to see me make some mistakes, have some triumphs, and the bottom line is we got a finished tractor with functional brakes again. So, um, yeah. So that wraps this up. Thanks all. Thank you all for uh, joining me and following along on this little project. And uh, we'll see you on the next uh, adventure here on Mask the Scrap Whisperer. Thanks, everybody.